What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pimp My Website. On today's episode, we're gonna take this very ugly, I have to say, dry cleaning website that's confusing, that doesn't have any call to action. We're gonna turn it into this website, which maybe is not the most beautiful one, but it does solve many more business problems and it looks much better. I'm gonna show you why I did all those changes. Stay tuned and watch me redesign it live. Hey everybody, welcome back to the fifth episode of Pimp My Website. This week, let's dive into Mina Cleaners. This website was submitted on my Instagram account where I ask for submissions and ideas for redesign. And this is a cleaning service from Canada, as you can imagine. It does say cleaners, cleaners, and you see a person and kind of washing machines. However, there's a lot going wrong with this website. To start with, it kind of looks like a, a blog from the 90s, but it's not a blog, it's actually a business website. The second thing goes going on here is, there's no call to action, I don't even know what to do. There's just title, 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 I don't know what's going on. Everybody's screaming at me, but then again, it's, it's not very clear. What am I supposed to do on this website? So I did a little digging around and I actually see it's not one location, it's actually uh, kind of a, a chain of multiple location around Canada and they do multiple stuff. So if this client would actually come to me and pay me to, you know, to do their redesign, the first question I would ask them is who who's going to come to this website and what do they want to achieve? Why is this website live anyway? And I can imagine, even though they didn't contact me, I can imagine it's going to be one of a few things. So probably because they have few locations, maybe they'll want to know what's the location closest to them. So maybe the main call to action on this website should be find the closest location next to me or something. I, I can see that you can't book online or something that it would come and pick your laundry. So maybe find a location is the main reason why people visit here. But then after a little bit of digging here, and it wasn't easy, I can see that for business opportunities, please contact head office and then there's a phone number. So maybe one of the things that they care about is they want to grow their, their network and they do this by probably licensing you know, their brand or something like that. And they want to have business inquiries. Now, I it's probably going to be a second goal. I don't know. I imagine. So all of this is imaginative. But I imagine they want to have people find this phone number, which would wasn't easy to kind of look around at a quick glance that what they're looking for is to have business opportunities contact them at their phone number. So that's probably kind of like goal number three. And in general, I do see here that they're talking about award winning and winner of the last five years of the the Mississauga, I probably don't know how to pronounce the name of the city, um, news for the last five years. By the way, I just did a very quick kind of a Google, I wanted to see maybe link to this award winning. And so I found this website and I actually went ahead and looked for their name there, Mina Cleaners in this news website. And it actually ended up not bringing me anything. So I don't know if they're lying about winning awards. I want to assume the best, but you don't want to bullshit people and say th stuff that it's not true on your website because people want to see proof, you know, but Back to the goals, probably what they want to achieve here is build some kind of a brand and credibility as to why would you work with them. And I can see they're focusing on saving money and 10 reason. By the way, it says here 10 reason to us our services. And I imagine they probably meant saying use our services and they drop the E here. And that's really critical. You know, when you're building websites, you want to make sure that you check out for typos because this thing doesn't look good. I mean, if they mess up the ER, are they going to mess up my laundry as well? You want to make sure that everything is perfect. However, you know, they do have kind of like good reasons here. So let's see how we're going to try and approach this. So the first thing, usually I wireframe with pen and paper, but because I want you to be kind of part of the process, let me go switch up to XD and try to sketch out this here, kind of do the wireframe within XD. So First thing, I'll put the navigation up at the top. I'm not gonna mind about colors right now, but um, there's no reason to have this kind of navigation below the kind of like logo here. Um, it does say dry cleaning center, but I don't think that's necessary if the image really conveys, plus it, it you kind of have this doubled. 
uh, cleaners, dry cleaning, and then you have it here. So I do think we can have kind of a logo here, um, and then we can probably have the navigation around here, some items, and then we're gonna use a uh, hero, which is you know the main section that you drive to explain people who you are, what you do. So we can put an image here, and we can probably put some you know we're gonna put some kind of a value proposition. I haven't decided what it is yet, and I do want to add kind of a call to action button, and then put uh, a better image that's still gonna show dry cleaning, but um, but that we can use here. So, and then let's see what else, what else, what else we have here. By the way, here in the navigation, because I do think that this stuff is important for business inquiries, I'll probably want to put this somewhere here in the hero because I do think that this is maybe not the main call to action, but I want to make sure that this is always going to be visible. So I'm going to put this here um, because putting their phone number, it's probably kind of like their contact information. So I think this should probably be always visible here at the top and perhaps this should be fixed when we're scrolling through the website. So what else do we have here? The welcome, welcome to the center. I don't know that we actually need all of that stuff. Um, probably maybe we'll bring in some text here about who they are. Now let's assume that they are uh, won some awards because they state that. I'll probably want to use that as some kind of some kind of a credential social proof here. So I'll probably bring some kind of a an award icon that's very quickly going to be recognized as an award and then put this award for multiple years and we'll try to fit this in before you scroll. So immediately when you see this, you'll have main understanding, value proposition, and call to action, and then probably um, some kind of an award or something like that. Um, then later on, so probably we covered this and we also covered that. And you know what? I'll actually, I do think that this is pretty cool, this 10 reasons. So maybe I'll put this here as some kind of a content um, something like, I don't know how to visualize this, but maybe it's good if we can keep this kind of like typographic. So I'll just do 10 reasons, but I'll make this very clear and big, 10 reasons, and then create this um, very bold list that you'll be able to see the reasons. We'll try to make this nicely. Wedding gowns care. Mm, I, don't, I wonder how important that is. And then again, you have tip of the day, which I also think is a pretty nice thing. So let's say that for the wedding gowns, we'll do a whole section and we'll put kind of a nice wedding photo explaining that they do this. And just before the footer, we're gonna have tip of the day, which is gonna be here. And I actually wanna, I think it will be cool if this is actually changing daily, which I, to be honest, I don't think it's changing daily, but why not allow people to move between at least the last few tips and let them see kind of tips? Because this, I think this is pretty valuable. Um, okay, so let's get started trying to do this. So Mina Cleaners, let's put this, obviously this is not like a real logo, and I'm not gonna do a logo design exercise here, so let's just put solid font, like, let me choose Futura, it's my favorite, and kind of this one does look geometric like it. So let's put it in bold or something and make it black. And um, I'm wondering if we need a color for this navigation bar, but I think that because we have, we're gonna have an image here, I think that the navigation, we can keep it white. So we'll change it to white in a second. So I'm gonna put the semi logo here, maybe just four. Um, I don't think I'm going to use the dry cleaning because, again, I think this is pretty obvious at this point. I do want to stay within kind of a container, so yeah, this looks good. Um, so let's keep working with the Futura font, but for the navigation, we can go down into medium and to something like 18. And then they have contact, location, services, and I'm, I'm not, you. I don't like, putting a home button. I know we had a discussion about this in the comments. Do people know that you click the logo for home? Do they not? I personally don't, I'm against home buttons. So let's just do contact and what was that about? Or locations, locations and about and services. 
So maybe about is first and then services, services. Okay, and now we can distribute them. This can actually be here. And I think we can space them out. And as I said, I want to keep this kind of, I want to make sure that this is bold. So this is going to be white. Let's remove the grid for a second so we can actually see colors. I'm going to use Futura for this as well. But let's make this 18. I do think that because I want the phone number probably to be um, linkable and visible, I'll, let's choose a color for it. Let's choose kind of a blue color. So we didn't pick a, a kind of a, a color color template for this uh, website, but let's just roll with it, right? Usually you work with a brand and you already have something. But I think, wait, okay, so. If I would just do this, this would make it simple. So I'm going to make it bold. And because it's blue and bold and a different color, I, people will probably understand that this is um, clickable. And now, because this is here, I think it's also a good idea to align these. Okay. And I think the gray here, I can make it a little lighter gray. Still readable and accessible, but you'd probably want to check the colors for accessibility. But right now I'm doing this super fast. So just picking the colors to make sure that this is clear. This is still might be a little bit too much in terms of taking up too much um, kind of visual hierarchies. It's too visible. So maybe I'll put this into bold. Yeah. All right, so now the it's it's very clear that those are the buttons and this is kind of like the additional info. So let's go ahead and bring in a photo, a photo, a better photo of cleaning services. So I'll just go to Unsplash. Usually for client work, I won't use free photos, but um, you know, this is a free project. So dry cleaning. Not sure if, oh, we do actually have something. Um, <clears throat> I think I'd rather try to find something that really maybe shows service or I'd, ideally I'd love to have kind of a person there. Let's go and see what we have in Shutterstock. Trying to not make it too too stock photo-y, but um, dry cleaning. But I do want to bring in a person into this photo. Now this is... Well, first of all, it looks kind of stocksy, but then I also don't have where to place some text here. But this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I think if this was a real project, what I would do is I'd probably use this photo as a reference and then try to go a professional photo shoot for them. Um, so let me copy this image and paste it inside here and do something like that. Now I want to have the text on the left side, so let me flip that. Hmm, how do you flip things on XD? I don't really know. Can you do this? Yep, you can. Haha. <laughs> All right, so we also don't need the border. So basically we have the image here. However, it's not going to be easy to put some text on it because there's a lot of colors going on here. So maybe, you know, if I would can I open this up in Photoshop? Maybe well, let's use some colors. So I would like give a background tint to the background so that we can overlay some white text on it. Because right now, if I'm trying to put some text on this image, it's going to be just too much of a visual clutter. So again, this is a mock-up. Um, so I'll try and do this super fast and not in a professional way using the pen tool, which is the quickest way to kind of make a selection and a skill that I think all designers should master to a good degree because this tool is such a useful tool. So I'm really quickly just marking her up. I, I can't use, I think at least I'm not using these kind of auto selection tools because I think the background is too complicated, but now there's actually some really good kind of services, remove background and all that type of stuff. If this was a real photo, I would consider doing this. But again, this is a mock-up and this is 
the fast solution, not the prettiest solution, but the fast solution. And we're all about doing things fast. So we're pretty much done at this point. Blah, blah, blah. Let's finish this up. And because we randomly pick blue color for this website, but actually blue is also the color of you know cleanliness and stuff like that. So I think it makes sense to go with blue for cleaning. Let's take this color and let's start experimenting with different blend modes to think is this good maybe we have something else so i'm just using a shortcut to run through you know all the different blend modes mm, nope looks too too dead mm, this actually looks pretty good so linear burn so i'm actually gonna run keep running with this let me see if i save this does it update yes bam it's updated however let me switch this up here image flip horizontally let's save it up okay so now I can go ahead and if I'll put a big white headline on the top you see we have a nice nice contrast because the background is darkened um, so we have uh, we can make it even darker but I think if we place it here we still have good contrast so let's think about a value proposition for them I think let's go with something as simple as save money by using our dry cleaning centers. Um, save money by using our dry cleaning services. So I think this will work again. We don't really know what they're what they're all about, but at least we're saying something here. At least we're trying to provide kind of like unique value. Um, I like to put the my titles with title case. Let's tighten up the typography because this is this is a heading and it's big save money by using our dirt our dry cleaning that's also why we don't need to say dry cleaning here because we're saying dry cleaning in the title and let me put a call to action so I'm, I'm wondering if I should add some of the text here welcome to our center for all closing I don't feel like it's bringing me new information full service cleaner offer dry cleaning and complete alteration or oh, I don't feel like it's that valuable so I'm just gonna add kind of a button and in this button let's do something random like this and let's put find location near you because again I do think that that's probably the the biggest use case why people would use this website is to find location near them find location near me and should we do this uppercase yeah I think in this case uppercase looks good feels call to action -y. Um, yeah so that's already much much better in terms of hierarchy and driving people for call to action um, let's go ahead here and try to create this something for awards for them so let me go to icon finder my favorite free resource for icons and let me see if we have something for award here and I'm gonna go with vector and free and those are two, 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 two. okay so we can use something like this I was actually thinking kind of like movie awards but maybe this is also good um, or this so let's pick this let's download it as SVG and then drag it into XD it's also even blue so we don't even have to change its color now that's effectiveness BAM all right so let's do something like add this award here and then state something like winner of the winner of the last five years by Mississigua news and this is not going to be bold it's also not a button let's go into medium maybe even light at this point I don't even have light here for Futura how weird is that all right winner let's make it a little bit bigger like 25 okay so let me 
Why do I see this border here? What here has a border? Hmm. What am I using here? Oh, for some reason I locked this. I don't know why. Okay, now remove the border. Okay, so now we have the winner for the past five years. Let's make sure this is centered. Okay, so the hero section kind of looks pretty good. Maybe I'd want this to be blue as well. Yeah, I actually think it looks nicer when the when the kind of logo is, but I do want to center these navigation here for something like this. Okay, so for this section, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a different color um, because I feel like it needs to have a little bit of a different color to differentiate itself from that one. So let's see what we're gonna do which color we're gonna pick for it um do, 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 do. gray i don't know if we should is this like a clean gray maybe we'll do like a, a little bluey gray yeah maybe something like this okay and then we can state here let's bring in a title and here we want to state that those are 10 reasons to use our services. So 10 reasons, let's make this black or almost blacky. 10 reasons to use our services. This also is probably not the H1, the biggest uh, header. So we can make this smaller. This is gonna be the H2. And then let's think about how do we do this? So let's say I'm going to use the same color and maybe maybe use the same kind of visual language of like it's going to remind us of this. So we'll do this round round circles that are going to have maybe a number in them. So one, two, three. Uh, let's make this smaller five and make this white. So number one, reason. And that's gonna make it really easy to, um, to scan, you know? So we're gonna use the same type size that we had here. I probably wanna use the same color. So you can see that this is gray and this is black. So I'll just go with black for all of them. Um, convenience, pure and simple, all right. And I want to center that. Wait, is not everything centered? Let's see that everything here is centered. Okay. So I'm not going to do all of them, but I think that if we can now do all of these like this, actually, maybe that'll be like too much of a long, long scroll. Maybe I want to do something like five columns. Um, so let's see. Right now, I'll do like five columns and then five columns, that'll be 10 reasons. Um, so right now, when we pick our layout, we have 12 columns, but because 12 doesn't divide by five, let me change that to 10. And now I can have myself kind of like, so this is two columns, right? And I'll have one, two, three, four. No, five, I have five, sorry. Bad counting on my part. Okay, so now I have kind of a grid that I can use to set up those numbers and I can do that and actually turn this into an area that's always aligned here and we're gonna center align it. And this is gonna be centered here as well. So I just created this, it's gonna help me kind of structure because I don't, like working with the grid it's hard for me to see what i'm doing um to duplicate 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 and then those are going to be all the reasons and i'm not going to change the text right now because it's going to be boring but we do have 10 reasons to use our services now if i was really actually you know want to invest here and do something cool maybe i would actually create an icon for each one of those reasons that could be nice and, and nice and cool actually 
you know, instead of just numbers. Um, really, again, it, it all depends on how much you want to invest, what's the budget, how much you want to customize stuff. So if you have the budget and the time and you want to create those custom illustrations, I think that can be really, really cool. However, obviously not every project can afford that. All right, so let's go ahead and move into the next section, which was basically, um, let me tighten up this section because I think it's taking up too much space on the page, so something like this. And here in this section, we can talk about the wedding gowns, right? So again, I'm probably gonna go to Unsplash and look for a wedding. Wedding dress. And yeah, let's try to find something emotional. So again, I'm looking for something that is that is wide so I can put text next to it. I'm also looking for something that can be maybe blue because we already have. So maybe this one where I'll be able to change the purple into blue. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, so let's try and go with that. And let's copy the image into Photoshop. And again, I want the text to be on the left side, so I'm gonna flip this image. Now I wanna turn the purple into blue. So let me go and try and use the U saturation tool here because sometimes you can actually pick who do you want to change. So let's pick the magentas and now basically I'm only going to affect the magentas and I'm going to try to change the U here a little bit. Let's see if it's working. No, it's not working at all. Um, let's see if we can affect the blues. Yep. So now I'm changing the purple a little bit to blue. All right, it's still not perfect blue. However, you know what? Now I'm going to add some curves and I'm gonna go and pick the blue and raise it up a little bit. That's too much. Okay, I didn't wanna affect her skin tone so much, but I'm again, I don't have time to really do this properly. So you know what, I'm just gonna paint in a little bit of the mask here. So I'm painting with black and it's adding here a little bit of a mask. So now I'm bringing back the original f color of her skin. Um, but for the rest of it, it actually looks pretty good. So before it was purpley, now it's a little bit more blue, which is a little bit more appropriate to our website. I'm gonna go and copy this merged and paste it in here. And maybe we need a little bit more space for this. So actually you can see that it's not the same actually blue color. And again, if I had a little bit more time, I would spend a little bit more time trying to get the blue color correctly so that you know it would be a good fit. But also, you know what? I want to fit more of her into here. How would I do this? So notice what I do. My problem here is that the image is not wide enough because if I want to do something like this, we're going to have white space here on the left side. So I actually need to make the image wider. Now, because, because there's nothing here, I can actually stretch this. So let me go here in Photoshop and change the crop and we're not gonna see this. Actually, I think, you know, if we're just gonna go here and stretch this, let's see if it's gonna look completely, completely. So I've merged all the layers into a new layer and let me see if I only pick this and stretch if it looks very visibly bad. Hmm. So it doesn't look very visibly red, uh, bad, and you know I didn't download the high resolution, but I think if we're gonna blur in what we have here, blur this out a little bit, it won't be that noticeable that we stretched it. And let's see how this would look now. Let's take this, copy, merged, and paste this inside. And now, all right, so now that's what I wanted. I have her and I can see more of her, but I have more place here for the text. So I can bring that here and we're gonna do, let's go here, wedding gown care. Let's put that here, wedding gown care. And let's bring in some text. 
to elaborate on the topic. Your wedding gown is your most precious item. Okay, let's pull this up. This is also going to be white. And making sure that the lines are not too long, which will make this hard to read. Always adjust for something like 10, 11, 12 words per line. I do this by eye now, but uh, this is probably what you should be going for. And uh, yeah, this is probably all right. You know what? I just want to give this a little bit of a purplish. Yeah, it gave it a little bit of a purplish tone just so they would be better fitting. Um, yeah. All right. Let's go here into tip of the day. So in tip of the day, let's go ahead and grab us a title here. I'm going to use tip of the day. Actually, you know what? Because I think they're actually lying and they're not changing this daily. Let's just do this. Let's just do some cleaning tips. Cleaning tips. And then maybe if they want to update them daily, sure. But if not, at least we have like four or something that people can go through and, you know, check them out. So do not iron strain, blah, 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 blah. Let's copy this. I wonder if we should bring in kind of an image that correlates to this tip. And I think the answer should be yes. So let's make this kind of like... Do not iron stain or soil clothes. This will set stains. And blah. Okay, so let's bring an iron, an image of an iron here. Or actually, you know what? Let's just bring an icon because it's much faster for us to bring an icon. So let's bring iron. Uh, do, 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 do. What iron would fit what we have here? So we're pretty limited, but I think this one can be good. Let's download this as an SVG. Let's bring the icon inside and you know what we can make something like let's draw a circle here and then you can imagine maybe that um it can be white we don't need a fill but for the border let's take this color let's take this color that we already used let's bring a little bit of a border here and can you imagine that every tip would have their own their own kind of icon that can be pretty nice mm, do, 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 do. I'm not sure not sure I like this so much to be very honest but we're we're working fast here and we're we're trying we're doing our best people you know do, you don't judge me you know usually you don't do a, a whole web design in like 20 minutes however you know you have to admit it does look insanely better than what we had before right so let's pick both of them and let's kind of center them around here. So those are the cleaning tips. And let's do, like, let's assume there's something like four tips. So we're just going to use this with the blue. And one, two, three, four, five. So maybe you're asking yourself, why did I make this blue? And the reason is that I thought it can be a nice way to kind of differentiate the tips versus the normal text. But actually, no real reason. I just thought it looked better than, you know, having this black and this, like the text black and this blue. I just think it's, it's okay. I think it's okay. But to be honest, I don't know. I don't know that I'm loving this. Um, let's do the footer. Probably something like Mina Cleaners and probably also bring in this again here at the footer. So let's just turn this into white and put it here. Something along these lines. All right. So I think we have updated design. So let's see before. Oh my God, and after, it's not amazing, but at least it does have more purpose to it. It does solve more business goals and it does look a little bit better. I hope that was useful for you. Make sure you follow on Instagram and make sure you follow the other Pimp My Website, website uh, 
episode that we had in the past, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.